All right, so today, guys, I'm doing the solid diff pushes on my V35. So, so far, I have taken the wheels off. As you can see, and I have disconnected the axles from the diff. There's six 14mm bolts, and I've taken off the exhaust. Um, so the next step would be to drop the sway bar down. I'm only undoing the the mount. Fuck, there they are. Those two bolts on either side and I'm just going to swing it down so it gives me access to um, to pull the diff out. And then I'm going to undo the tail shaft bolts. They look like a 17mm under the two front mounts and the back mount the ABS sensors and the diff breather and then I can wiggle its way out so I'm going to get on to doing that okay so getting on off the diff pushes I've removed the rear part of the exhaust and the bit further up that goes to those two pipes um, the 17mm at the back the two bolts at the front there, one and two. I also uh, took the ABS sensors out of the back of the diff. There's one on each side for the ABS rings. I took the breather. I just unclipped that bit, or you can undo the hose or whatever. And then, yeah, I just sort of dropped the front down and pushed it forward to take the stud out. And then I just sort of let the jack start to lower down and then just sort of manhandled it down on the jack which is pretty easy it's not that heavy you can lift it by hand if you want um, so yeah now I'm gonna get to cutting the bush out and then chiseling it out and etc etc and then I've got the GK Tech solid bush in the freezer to let it go in easier so I'll get back to you when I'm when I've almost got this out all right so that's the center part of the bush. And I used a hole saw to get it out, a hole saw on a drill, and just cut through the rubber, and I knocked it out with a hammer. And now I've got a hacksaw, and I'm gonna cut through the outer sleeve in a couple of places, like there and there, and then chisel chisel it out. Because once you've cut it, it relieves the pressure, and you can, you can chisel it inwards towards the center, and it becomes smaller, and you can knock it out. So that's what I'm going to work away on. It's not really a fun process. If you had a um, air hammer, like an air chisel hammer, like an air hammer with a chisel attachment, you could pretty easily just sort of fucking pow, pow, pow and knock this thing out. That's what I've done with diff pushes in the past, and it works really well. But I'm at home at the moment, so I don't really have that option. don't have an air compressor. So this is what we've got to work with. So is what it is. So I'm getting there. So I cut through this one spot here. And I've chiseled it away a bit. But I wasn't able to quite get it free. So I'm probably going to have to... It's not even cut through completely. As you can see. So I'm probably going to have to cut through that completely. And then have another go at chiseling it and see how I go. I, knock, I got rid of all the rubber. The rubber looked like this. Once I cut through the rubber, I was able to knock that out and it gave me a very clear view of what the outer shell looked like. Because previously the rubber was in the way and I couldn't see if I'd cut through it completely. So I only cut it in one spot, and then I chiseled up the edges, just like that. Now I'm going to give that a bit of a sand. I've got the GK Tech bush in the freezer, and I'm going to slap it in. See you later. So I've cleaned up that whole area. I just went and got the bush out of the freezer. hit it in from the other direction all right so the bush is in it sticks back a bit 
but as you can see on that side it's flush there anyway I couldn't really hit it in any further so if it has to go in I'm gonna try and put the diff in now though but yeah I couldn't hit it in any further um, definitely get a big hammer that one like a four pounder or something because that one's just not not big enough um, I got it in though but yeah or even like a bit of fretted rod with some big washers and pull it in that way that would work too uh, but yeah I'm gonna try and put it in hopefully it's in far enough see how I go so the diff is back in that's all in drive shaft axles sway bar I'm just putting the exhaust on now as you can see it's just sitting there so yeah the exhaust is the only thing left so that's how you install the GKTX solid diff bush at the back um, I didn't do the fronts because I don't have a press here and I just want to get the car back on the road I gotta pull it out to weld the diff anyway so I'll do the front diff bushes when I do that but yeah if you want to see more videos on the Z33 G35 V35 chassis then subscribe to my channel and if you want to see street drifting shit then also subscribe Catch you guys later.